There's a whole lot to talk about, but we got to start with how you guys started. It was about a year ago. Tell me how the whole band came together. Well, Luke and I have been playing together since we are teenagers, and we were horrible at music, and we've only marginally gotten better from there. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, we decided that, you know, it's something we really wanted to do, so we started branching out with other musicians, and... Uh, about a year ago, Stefan and I realized that if we ever wanted to do anything, we'd have to start playing with people who are way better musicians than we are. So we met Vince, Tom, Steve, and we've been having a pretty good time since then, I'd say. What made you guys come into the country scene? Well, we just naturally gravitated towards that sound. I don't think we even really realized we were doing it until we were doing it. So we play, we play something that kind of borders country and rock, and but it's always definitely heavily rooted in country, as a lot of music actually is. So yeah. yeah, we never tried to do anything. I would say that we just were playing, and then one day we're at a bar, we were playing at the Artful Dodger, and a guy was like, you guys should join the BCCMA. You guys would like do really well there. Like, huh, we didn't realize we were playing country music. We just do what we love. But I mean, we both grew up listening to country music and loving, you know, the classics, uh, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, and lots of other country artists so you know it's always sort of been there and now we're like yeah country music that's part of who we've always been social media is a big thing we talked about it for a very small amount of time just a minute ago uh but you guys obviously know a little bit about that because your ep that you released is called clickbait uh tell us why you went with that you've done your research <laughs> It worked pretty easy because one of the songs on the EP is called Clickbait. And that was just written about the stupidity that is the need to always be connected on social media and the internet and stuff like that. It, it's, it's just kind of something that I wrote to have fun with that whole idea. So. I get high on compliments My head is big, my body's weak I tip into the ecstasy My head is big, my body's weak My ego is the death of me I'm missing out I'm missing out I'm missing out I'm missing out Click bay Click bay Click bay Click bay Click bay How do you guys create something that is clickbait? Well I mean, we try to just be completely authentic and hopefully that just hits a chord with the people receiving what we're doing. And I mean, it's not, it's not an effort to try to entice anyone to like us because that would just be fake and people see through that pretty easily. So it's just basically we're taking a chance being ourselves and hopefully somebody connects with it. So can any fans uh, see your videos aside from YouTube? How did they get to the links and uh, how can they find out where else you're playing? We got a great website which we designed ourselves and I'm pretty proud of that. I don't know about those guys. I need to know about your socks. Oh. Luke, you're wearing fantastic socks. Thank you. Tell me about those. Well, you know, the other day it was National Sailors Day was it? and I saw these on sale at H&M. So I purchased myself a pair of socks, and then they just happened to be on my feet today, so you're welcome. I'm very glad, thank you. <laughs> Are you always wearing funky socks? Um, I'm not always. If I'm wearing my boots, then I, I just wear gray socks. But when I'm not wearing my boots, I have an assortment of funky socks, which may or may not be deadly, so. Well, I'm glad you went with those today, thank you. How about yourself? Well, luckily, because I never wear funky socks, mine have hearts on them. They were given to me by my good friend, Michael J. Sisk, um, when I stood in his wedding. Aww. Yeah, 
So, so did you guys all have cool socks then? Yeah, we all had the same socks. And I wore them by chance to work today, and uh, I didn't change them before I came here. So I'm it's pretty a good lucky. Thing you didn't. Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, they would have been and white, white champion athletic socks from Costco. So not quite as exciting. No, not, not at all. Well, and I can tell you've been working in them all day. <laughs> <laughs> you chose to sit down. That's not his fault. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I do have to say, you have to buy more socks like that because every time you tap your foot, it looks like he's dancing to your music. And it's fantastic. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thanks for having us. Great being with you today. Awesome.